Key Largo, the longest key, sits only six feet above sea level. To get a look at what lies below, we signed up for a trip on a glass bottom boat. We were surprised to find the African Queen. The boat was originally owned by an African railroad, which rented it to director John Huston for use in his famous 1951 film starring Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn. The owner of the glass bottom boat found it rotting on a farm in Ocala, Florida and bought it. Our boat quickly filled up with a group of fellow tourists. Security, security, Key Largo Princess outbound, Key Largo Harbor Canal, leave it up. Soon we were headed out for a trip to the coral reefs. Within half an hour, we were hovering over the Molasses Reef. So we're here, this reef is called Molasses Reef, like the syrup. Got its name around the turn of the century when a Jamaican cargo vessel carrying a cargo of molasses ran aground here. The backbone of the reef is coral, a primitive life form just one step up from a sponge. The Florida Keys are the only places in North America with coral reefs. These reefs support a thriving and diverse array of plants and animals, much like an underwater tropical rainforest. The fear is that global warming will melt the polar ice caps and we'll have to tour all of the keys in a glass bottom boat. The temperature change could also do irreparable damage to these reefs. One of the best ways to see the area's underwater splendor is to jump in. Diving really opens up this world. Getting a close-up look at this silent seascape full of colorful corals and swaying plants is a treat. Our reef trip was over and we were soon back on our journey south. 